Welcome to this series on mastitis in dairy cows brought to you by the University of Edinburgh. This video is the dry cow therapy. Mastitis is the infection of the milk producing gland, the udder. Bacteria invade the teat end via the teat canal and cause an infection. Mastitis is a fight between bacteria invading the udder and the cow fighting the infection. All cows should be dry, meaning not milk for the month before the cow calves again. This allows for the udder to prepare for the next lactation. The cow will produce more milk if she's dry for a month. Dry cow tubes. Dry cow tubes are intramammary antibiotic treatment at the end of lactation. They help eliminate existing infections and help prevent new infections in the dry period. Dry cow tubes are long acting preparations and are different to the tubes used to treat mastitis. When using dry cow tubes, hygiene is very important so that no bacteria get into the teat. The cow should be fully milked out, hands and the teat should be cleaned, Either use a pre-dip to clean the teat or four corners of a damp cloth should be used to wash the four quarters. The cloth should not be returned to the bucket. A dry cloth or paper should be used to dry the quarters before milking. Not drying can leave a drip on the teat that will end up in the teat causing mastitis the tip of the dry cow tube is inserted into the teat. Holding the teat end, the contents should be emptied into the teat. A full tube must be used per quarter. The teat should then be dipped. Record the cow number or name and the date of treatment. When the cow calves, the milk cannot be used for human consumption for several milkings. Read the manufacturer's leaflets for veterinary drugs for the milk withdrawal. If cows calve early, within a month of treatment, then the withdrawal time may be different. For farms with a bulk milk somatic cell count, SCC, of over 250,000 mils, all cows should be treated with dry cow therapy. Where the SEC for individual cows are available, selective dry cow therapy can be used, treating only high cell count cows. Where cost or availability is an issue, then using the Californian milk test on cows prior to drying off can identify which quarters should be treated. If using quarter treatment, remember that when cows calve, the milk from all four quarters is not fit for human consumption for several milkings. Local professional and veterinary advice should be sought to ensure that this material is relevant to your situation. 